So it started out with these chords. It went one, two, three, and then back to three. Basically, I was just building like kind of some like plug type chords, really. I've been using Twin 2. I went with this preset called Hona. So basically, it's just in keys. It's like vintage key vibe. So it's kind of going for more of like a plug sound. Um, and I feel like to achieve that, you kind of need to build like seventh chords. I'd recommend just like kind of stacking notes just to achieve that kind of sound. So they're not all just like normal seventh chords. They'll just, I kind of like experimented with the notes to get that sound. Then I went with this other preset in Twin 2. It's in Vintage as well, Vintage Keys. So just kind of layered like these other keys over the top, just like a simple melody, just to give it a bit of rhythm. Then I reached for Triton because I knew I wanted a lead synth. And there's this really great synth that I've used before. It's R&B. It's just literally called R&B lead synth. Basically, I just like grabbed RC20. I like this wobble thing. So it gives you like a bit of wow and flutter. You just like play around with it. And then I just end up like adding a little bit of distortion just to give it a little bit of like character. Then I just tweak these other parameters just like slightly to give it a little bit of something extra. And I grabbed like this panning preset. It's really interesting to me when things like when elements are moving around. So I like to play around with panning a lot. It was really easy to go over the overboard with panning because headphones don't have like a great stereo image. You can kind of like think that stuff sounds good and then it just like gets lost in the mix when you like play it on anything else. I don't know. I limit myself to like 30% like stereo width. I wanted this lead to have a bit of energy. So I just gave it like a sort of like a quick-ish rate um, just so that it moves around. And then I just like panned it off to the left and it just like sort of just like dances around. Then I created a B section with a second lead. So this is just like in Ableton Operator. Big shout out to Era. This is a synth that he made. And then I just went through and tweaked it. So initially it was a sine wave, like just basic, a basic sine lead with like glide on it. I turned it into a square wave and I turned this like LFO rate on. So it sounded kind of like nervous in a way like i just wanted it to sound like kind of like anxious or something oh and then i grabbed this filter so this is something that i've been doing a lot with sound design so like i grab like a low pass and then i turn up the resonance and just kind of like look for the sweet spot and it just gives it a little bit of character then i went through and i just turned up the spread a little bit and it really just gave me the result that i was after i just kind of like thickened up the signal in a way then i just went with some more stereo panning for this one as well And then I just grabbed this piano in Triton. It's called Romance Piano. And I just like layered this melody over the top. Then I felt like the melody was like just slightly too empty, like it needed to sound a little bit more full. So this is kind of like a hack. If you grab like a string or like a pad, you can just play like a single note, like in a really high octave, just turn it right down. It'll really make your melody sound really full. And it's like a very, very simple thing. You don't have to come up with like some super cool melody. This one, I kind of went overboard, but sometimes I'll just like literally play a single note like this the whole way through. And it does the job like every time it makes it sound incredible. Then I just went with some RC20 just to make it sound like a little bit more organic, like give it that kind of vinyl sound. And then we just chucked a plate reverb on it just to kind of set it back in the mix. So onto the drums, all these drums are just in the stash kit, which is on my Patreon or on BeatStars. It's actually free in a Patreon membership if you want to cop that. I went with kind of like the triplet, like drill hi-hat. I was listening to a lot of Heaven's Gate, like the Surf Gang album. The song with 454, it's called Starburst. It has like this really kind of like triplet, like swing to it. So I just went with that for the hi-hats and I created like this kind of drill clap pattern for the primary clap. The first hit is like normal and then the second one is like moved across like a half note, quarter note. I don't know what it is. Then I just picked like three snares for like percussive snares and I just kind of like listened back to find like a little kind of like pocket where I could create some cool like rhythm that sounded a little bit different.
And then I just basically went with the Zaytoven 808 because I hear that a lot in 454 stuff or the stuff with Surf Gang anyway. So yeah, that's everything. If you like this beat and you want to know how to recreate it, check out my Patreon. This will be up on there along with all of my other Ableton project files and they're free for all members. So if you're interested in that and you want to deconstruct the way that I make stuff, if you're somebody that struggles with melodies, it can be really helpful. So yeah, check that out if you want. And this is the whole beat.